Hey, good morning, everyone. So what am I working on now? Well, I got a uh, 06 Chevy 2500 series pickup truck uh, with a six liter. And the customer's not complaining of this. Customer's complaining of a check engine light, but this has nothing to do with the check engine light, but I figured I'd show you. Um, but anyway, I've had some people in the past with some of the ticking videos and, and whatnot say, oh, that's an exhaust leak. You can tell right away it's not really ticking. Well, okay, yeah. When a customer com comes in and complains of a ticking, I have to go after a ticking noise. It may not be ticking to you or me, but to the customer, it might be ticking. So on this one, um, I haven't even started it yet. Battery was dead. I just hooked up a jumper to it. Uh, but I could see right away, because I was just looking underneath the hood, giving it a visual. And I can see on both sides, it's got broken exhaust manifold bolts. But this one, it's not even just the last one, it's the next one over, on both sides. So, but that's not their complaint. But I guarantee you this thing's gonna be making a noise. So I figure, let's start it up and let's listen to the noise. But let me show you first, just so you can see. I'm gonna show you on the right side because it's a little easier to see than on the left side. Plus, the way the sun's coming in, I'm not sure if I can see the right side. We'll try it, but I, I don't know if you're gonna be able to. So let's just see. Let me show you this. All right, so here, this thing actually, um, I did hook a scanner up before I started. It's got a purge situation. So I may just have an issue with that, but I'll, I'll make a separate video on that. Oops, sorry, didn't mean to switch. So down here on this side, let's see if you can see this. If you look close, you can see just above that spark plug there, there's supposed to be a bolt like there is on that one. That one's missing. So that's broken in the head. And if you look close, you can see some carbon on top of that tube right above the exhaust manifold there. And you could just see at the very end corner there, you could see the bolt is missing there also. Oh, that's obviously gonna be making noise. Let's see if we can't see on this side. I'm not sure if I can. Uh, well, you could see the ones, you could see the one on this side there, that bolt is in place. And the one over there is missing. It's a little difficult. Oops, dang it. I just disconnected my booster pack. My mistake. Hold on a second. Yeah, and if you look closely, you can see the carbon build up on the head there. So let's actually start this up and let's listen to it. I've also gotten comments from people as to why I keep going back to myself on the videos. Well, sometimes it's easier to understand something when I explain it and you can physically see me talking. Um, it, believe it or not, yeah, some people prefer it that way. So, all right. And you can hear it. It's more of a puffing type sound. Here, pretty clear on this side. All right, so that's that's an exhaust leak. That's not that's an exhaust leak. That's not. Uh, hold on a second. I apologize for that technical difficulties. I was getting a call. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so that's not a ticking noise. Uh, but there again, like I said, some people will complain of a ticking noise. Now, one other thing is, I've had I've had a couple of people say this that that'll set. Uh, cat efficiency codes. I've never seen that set cat efficiency codes. I've seen that set lean codes, never cat efficiency. Cat efficiency is, it takes the reading from the input or the upstream O2 sensor before the cat and compares it to the downstream, the one after the cat. Now, if you have a leak like this, this is before the cat. So it's not going to change the reading between the first O2 and the second O2. You know what I mean? It's not, if you had a break in the exhaust pipe, after the upstream O2 sensor, then yeah, you can set a cat efficiency code. I've never seen this set of cat efficiency code. So I think the people that have claimed that or stated that in um, the comments, I think you're mistaken on that. You may want to look that back up. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to point that out. I wanted to show that to you. I thought it was kind of interesting. So now I'm going to go chase down this, um, this purge code that it has. Uh, it's a code for uh, incorrect purge flow. So anyway, um, I guess that's about it. If you guys are getting something out of my video, hit that like button. If you could, please subscribe. All right, guys. Have a great day. Keep wrenching.